Hey guys, going to talk about uh, the pros and cons of Wi-Fi events for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Starting off with the pros, I will say Melee definitely has like the best online for like competing, and so you can thank my like, rollback basically for making a number one. Um, there's like a lot of people like new players, players coming in. Tournaments themselves are, for the most part, really good. Like you can play cross country, and as long as people have like a good computer connection and monitor, like it tends to be like pretty solid outside of like some teleports. And um, you know, people have been playing a lot in the past year, so the level of play has gone up by like quite a bit. Like a year of like rollback melee is probably equivalent to like maybe three years in advance an investment as melee's meta is like constantly changing. So. In terms of like competition and the ability to practice people like cross country with almost no problems, um, it's like fantastic, you know. Um, what are the cons? I'd say the con is um, you're kind of just sitting at your computer, you lose out on like the social aspects of events, which I, um, you know, pretty much miss a lot. Like, I miss hanging out with people and um. You know, feeling like the energy of the crowd when you compete on the big stage. Um, it, it is like... I will, I will say it's a lot less pressure sitting at your house and competing. It's like you're um, in your max comfort zone. Um, I actually do uh, like competing on the big stage in front of a big crowd a lot more. So, to me, that's fun. Some of it, maybe not. And um, it is not... Perfect melee, in spite of a uh, rollback being like really good. Like, especially when you fight people like coast to coast, I think like space spaces get a big buff because of like teleports or lag spikes. So it's kind of a different game, for sure. One that doesn't like favor uh, my character too much, and tends to favor like space space animals. Uh, but I'd say a pretty considerable considerable amount. Um. Besides that, I can't think of many other cons for Wi-Fi. Yeah, I just miss the social aspects, and the game is a little different. Besides that, I'm pretty just thankful that uh, Rollback came out when it did. So, you know, because we can I can still like compete, and it's still like, legit for the most part, you know? Like, it's not like a, a scuffed joke like most other fighting games. So, before Rollback, and all these um, edited mods like Uncle Punch. Improving was pretty much a lot harder because for me at least, I only played with the same like few people like in California. And there are some tournaments where they can go to, but you know, you just still find like the same limited amount of people. With a uh, rollback, you can easily play people like across the country, like no problem. And that's a really big deal. You can have good sessions um like for me nowadays, I could play like IDW, Zane, and so forth. Where back then, like on like old net play, like the games would just suck ass, you know, like be almost unplayable. And um, yeah, you pretty much had to travel the world and play people when you do. So you have like a couple chances to fight like other good people, not close to where you live. Um, for 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 me, like Summit. Some of the events were like by far the best way to level up because that's when like the top 10 people go and then just play melee all day for like a whole weekend. Like back then, now now it's like uh, you kind of get the same experience playing rollback online, just turn on a computer, hit up some people. And um, yeah, it's like much easier and better now. Even if when the pandemic ends and Lani comes back, I think rollback will still like be a big part of the you know equation. For practice, at least. In terms of like actual uh, like improvement, there's programs like 20XX and Uncle Punch where they really set you up to like grind out the game, like lab it out yourself. Like before, like those programs, you couldn't really use the base melee to, you know, really practice. As like you fight a CPU has like a, a lot of bad quirks, for example. Like you had, you had to actually fight other people to, in my opinion, get better in a meaningful way. But with Uncle Punch, out like um, they kind of spoon feed you, 
compared to like a, you know, mailing the pests. And it doesn't matter how good or bad you are. Like you can totally use Uncle Punch and improve, which is pretty pretty nice. Like I still use it sometimes. And it doesn't yeah again be a beginner or a top level player. And these tools are now available and just helps to drive improvement all around. Well, post Slippy, I think I improved the most in the shortest amount of time. Just because the average level of people has got up, like shot up. And people are like just playing a lot of, uh, more melee than they have in the past. And the way I improve is just like fighting good players. So, you know, by virtue of slipping coming out and the average skill level getting higher. And me just playing them like, uh, I think I intuitively develops like a better game in, in that fashion. So, yeah, I guess Slippy is a, a huge catalyst in itself for me of my improvement okay hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah please like subscribe to the beast coast fgc channel and see you guys next time